Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, uh, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do we daily discuss MCQs from your current affair perspective. So today is 27 September. So let's see what are the questions for the day. So the first question is consider the following statements related to Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council. First, Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister is a constitutional body. Second, President is empowered to constitute Economic Advisor con uh, Advisory Council every five years. So which of the above statements is correct? So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are incorrect because the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister is not a, con a constitutional body. And uh, second statement is also wrong. So the solution would be neither one nor two. So about this, it is an independent body constituted to give advice on economic and related issues to the government of India, specifically to the Prime Minister. So terms of reference are basically analyzing any issue economic or otherwise referred to it by the Prime Minister and by advising him thereon, uh, addressing issues of macroeconomic uh, importance and uh, presenting views thereon to the Prime Minister. So this could be either sumoto or on reference from the Prime Minister or anyone else. So it also includes attending to any other task as may be des desired by the Prime Minister from time to time. So let's move on to the next question. Next is Vraha seen in news is related to A. Indian Coast Guard ship B. Nuclear submarine C. Unmanned vehicle D. None of the above. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is A. Obviously only one option will be correct. So it is basically an Indian Coast Guard ship. So recently it was commissioned. So it will enhance the surveillance and patrolling capabilities of Indian Coast Guard and reinforce their role as sentinels of our seas. So it is fourth in series of 798M uh, offshore patrol uh, vehicle, the vessels of Indian Coast Guard. So it has been designed and built indigenously by Larson and Turbo at its uh, Katupalli ship building yard in North uh, uh, Chennai. Let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to International Maritime Organization. First, the International Maritime Organization is the United Nations specialized agency with the responsibility for the safety and security of shipping and the prevention of marine pollution by ships. Second, it is headquartered in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So which of the above statements is correct? We have to choose. Uh, let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is first. Uh, uh, first. So it is basically a United Nations specialized agency. So it ensures safety and security of shipping and prevention of marine pollution by sh ships. So World Maritime Day uh, uh, is observed on 26 September. So uh, it emphasizes on the uh, importance of maritime security, marine environment and shipping safety. And the uh, theme is basically empowering women in the maritime community. So this day makes uh, uh, marks date of adop adop adaptation, uh, adaptation of International Maritime uh, uh, Organization Convention in 1958. So here friends, it must be adoption, not adaptation. The day was first observed in 1978. Uh, so about IMO, it is a specialized agency for the safety and security of shipping. So primary purpose is to develop and maintain a comprehensive regulatory framework for shipping and its remit today include safety, environmental concerns, legal matters, technical cooperation, maritime security and the efficiency of the shipping. So it is uh, uh, headquartered in London, uh, United Kingdom. So let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following uh, pairs. Uh, first, Pike, uh, Pika Rebellion 1817. Second, Santhal Rebellion 1855. Third, Coal Rebellion, uh, Coal Uprising 1857. Uh, fourth is Ramosi Uprising 1822. So we have to choose, uh, we have to uh, uh, check that which of the above pairs is correctly matched. Let me tell you friend that answer is D that is 1, 2 and 4. So Pika Rebellion, Santhal Rebellion and Ramosi uprising are properly matched. Uh, so this pres President Ramnath Kovind uh, uh, had is to lay the foundation of a memorial dedicated to 1817 Pika Rebellion. So Pikas were basically they were recruited since 16th century by the kings in Odisha from a variety of social group, uh, groups to render mars uh, ma martial services and return for rent free land. Nishkar Jagirs and titles. So they were tradi the, the traditional landowning uh, land owning militia of uh, Odisha and served as warriors. So how the rebellion began? So there were multiple reasons. So you can check about them. 
so uh, we will not go into that detail uh, but there are various movements nationalist movements that have uh, uh, in this national most there, there are multiple movements which have been seen so coal uprising was one of them and then santhal uprising was also one of them and romosi uprising was also there so uh, next let's move to the next question consider the following statements related to portion ma First, the program is an initiative of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Second, the government has proposed to celebrate the October month as National Nutrition Mission. Uh, sorry, Nat National Nutrition Month. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you, friends, that both of these statements are uh, incorrect. So this program is not an initiative of the your. Uh, 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 Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, rather it is an initiative of uh, Ministry of Women and Child Development and Niti Yog. So uh, basically September is uh, celebrated as the portion uh, uh, month. So uh, uh, government is celebrating this month under the portion of Bhyan, uh, as National Nutrition Month. So basically the program aims to, to address the problem of uh, this uh, uh, malnutrition among children by adopting a, a holistic approach. approach. So you can check about it uh, by pausing the video. Let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to tuberculosis in India. First, India ranks second in the world as far as TB related mortality is considered. Second, overall the TB burden is highest in Maharashtra. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct that, and that is first. So India ranks uh, second in the world. Uh, so uh, India TB report has been released. So people, uh, uh, the number of HIV infected people who go on to develop uh, to, uh, tuberculosis is increasing in India. So t TB is leading cause of morbidity and mortality among people living with HIV. So this group is 21 times more likely to develop TB than persons without virus, without the virus. So India is the third highest HIV burden country in the world with an adult prevalence of 0.22%. Uh, uh, so India ranks second in the world as far as TB related mortality is concerned and it is the highest uh, uh, percentage of patients who tested positive for TB and uh, were also infected with HIV came from Nagaland followed by uh, Karnataka. So please note that uh, that the uh, highest uh, number of uh, people uh, who who, uh, who are HIV infected are from your uh, Nagaland and there there is also uh, the highest number of people uh, in Nagaland who are suffering from the TB uh, if we consider the in entire Indian scenario. Next is, let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to nuclear supplier group. First, it is a treaty based organization and its decisions are legally binding. Second, to become a member, the country has to mandatorily uh, become party to the nuclear non-proliferation treaty. So which of the above statements is correct? We have to choose the correct statement. Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are incorrect. Uh, so neither one nor two. So at uh, Bloomberg Global Business Forum, uh, the Prime Minister of our country, he paid, made a pitch for India's membership for nuclear supplies group. So it was basically brought in 1974 in response to India's nuclear test that is smiling Buddha. So it is a multilateral export control regime and group of uh, it is a group of nuclear supplier countries that seek to prevent nuclear proliferation by controlling the export of materials, equipment and technology that can be used to manufacture nuclear weapons so NSG uh, was uh, it first met in November 1975 in London and is thus popularly referred to as the London Club so it is not a, a formal organization and the guidelines are not binding but decisions are made by consensus so membership is basically 48 supply states are there so there is a criteria so there must be ability to supply items including uh, items in transit covered by the annexes to parts 1 and 2 of the NSG guidelines so there must also be other uh, 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 things so you can read in more detail that why it is uh, why the membership is important for India and what should we do now let's move on to the next question of the day like next question is which of the following award is widely known as alternative noble uh, a Albert medal uh, B Lenin Peace Prize C right livelihood award D none of the above let me tell you friends that the answer is C that is right livelihood award so it is an international award to honor and support those offering practical and exemplary answers to the most urgent challenges facing us today. So prize was established in 1980 uh, by the German Swedish philanthropist Jakob von uh, uh, Jukuskal and it is, and is presented annually in early December. So an international jury invited by five regular right livelihood award board members decides the award in such uh, fields as environment protection, human rights, sustainable development, uh, health, education and peace. So it is also promoted as an alternative Nobel Prize, but it is not a Nobel Prize. Please note that. Uh, so it does not have any organizational ties to the awarding institutions of the Nobel Prize or Nobel Foundation. 
Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, quantum con computer uses quantum bits as opposed to the binary digits in traditional computers. Second, com quantum computers operate according to two, two key principles of quantum physics, superposition and entanglement. And then, uh, so which of the above statements is correct? Let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct. Answer is both one and two. So Google researchers claim to have achieved a major milestone in uh, computer science known as quantum supremacy. Uh, so what is quantum uh, supremacy is basically it means that researchers have been able to use a quantum computer to perform a single calculation that no conventional computer even the biggest supercomputer can perform in a reasonable amount of time. So case uh, of Google is that this calculation involved checking whether the output of an algorithm for generating random numbers was truly random. So researchers were able to use a quantum computer to perform this complex mathematical calculation in 3 minutes and 20 seconds according to the paper. So they say that uh, it would have taken Summit 3, an IBM mach built machine that is the world's most powerful commercially available conventional computer about 10,000 years to perform the same task. So how do quantum computers work? So they work by harnessing the properties of quantum mechanics. So quantum computers use logical units called quantum bits or qubits for short and that, that can be put into a quantum state where they can simultaneously represent both 0 and 1. So uh, there are multiple uh, uh, details so you can uh, read about them. Uh, by pausing the video now let's move to the last question of the day now last question is uh, it is uh, consider the following statements it is uh, one of the eight missions launched under national action plan on climate uh, there is a missing statement here friends uh, so uh, there must be a mission here but I'm not able to recall so let's see let's move to the, the solution itself so this uh, uh, this national water mission award 2019 so we have to consider about it uh, so yeah so there was a uh, under this the awards were given uh, uh, in 10 categories so defined uh, under five goals of the national water mission so national water mission is one of the uh, eight uh, those uh, core missions that have been launched to, uh, to uh, as a part of national action plan on climate change so uh, only first statement is correct uh, so obviously there is there was a mistake so please note that uh, so national water mission is basically uh, the following goals are there so comprehensive uh, uh, water data based in public domain and assessment of the impact of climate change on water resource promotion of citizen and state actions for water conservation augmentation and preservation uh, third is focused attention to vulnerable areas including over exploited areas uh, fourth is increasing water use efficiency by 20%. Fifth is promotion of basin level integrated water resources management. So more you can uh, read by pausing the video. So this is all about friends today's discussion about your current affairs. So if you like the video, if you like the discussion, if you like the questions, then do ensure that you like our video, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. And lastly friends, you can visit, uh, you can, uh, if you wish to uh, uh, get, uh, remain, uh, remain in touch with the updates that we do on our channel, then you can, uh, you are most more than welcome to join our public telegram channel, the link of which is shown on your screen and will also be provided in the description box. So if you want to remain in touch with the, the initiatives launched by us then you can join our public telegram channel uh, we will be providing the link in the description box also you can visit our website that is www.achieveias.co.in so uh, on which we keep on updating various initiatives that we have and we keep on uh, providing you important information they are relating to strategy relating to how to prepare and how to crack UPSC CSC so uh, you can also uh, uh, if you have any queries you can mail us at achieveias21 at gmail.com or you can also contact us at 8968920720 so these are the details and lastly friends if you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these mcqs then you can drop us a message at these details the, that are shown on your screen that is the mail as well as the contact number so obviously there will be a minimum fee for the subscription and that has been kept for the purpose of our motivation so that uh, we people can remain motivated to help you people so it is just rupees 99 per month so if you are willing to join then do ensure that you contact us we will send you the subscription link if uh, you contact us but also the subscription link will also be there in the description box so in case you are interested to join then do ensure that you check the description box so this is all about today's video friends thank you have a very nice day ahead